LA is home to more than 1.3 million small businesses, and there are also more women and minority-owned small businesses here than in any other county in the nation. Arzisa Schuler takes us to South LA, where a local entrepreneur is planting some roots, and she's got a budding business. Good morning to you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Giselle and Melvin. You know, I always find it very interesting learning about how small businesses get their start, like this one, the Plant Plug in South Los Angeles. They turn their backyard into essentially a miniature farm. You have chickens here that lay eggs, and then we have a garden space that's pretty small, but they're able to grow and sell thousands of plants a year. Now, this is only part of the business. The real root of this small business is actually creating equity in the community through planting. Here's how. Ready? When they transformed their 200-square-foot backyard in South Central from dirt to a miniature farm, Taylor Harrison said at first nothing came out perfect. This one was more of a struggle plant. But mastering the process is what Taylor fell in love with. Gardening it's just it's heart it's intention but the idea of obtaining perfection would be how does it taste nutrient density abundance affordability organic staying organic you know known locally as the plant plug because of the connections they make among plant lovers but selling plant seedlings like these cayenne peppers and kale plants is only half the business the root of their small business is teaching the south central community how to grow their own food in in small spaces connecting people to the process and also know that they can produce on their own without the dependence of a grocery store mm. ultimately Taylor's idea is to create equity through plants they plug neighbors with gardens who then barter or trade plants produce and oftentimes share resources here's how it works Taylor's dropping off a few cauliflower seedlings to Gigi Casey at Hawkins yeah. High School Community Garden in exchange maybe Taylor will take home some fresh cilantro and strawberries Gigi says this trade system makes healthy food much more accessible, especially living in an area considered a fresh food desert. It's important to have what I call a living laboratory where people can understand that they can grow their own food, organic food, and that we have a relationship with partners in our community. This month, Taylor was recognized by Wells Fargo as a community champion. $5,000 will go toward furthering the Plant Plug's mission of educating the black community on agricultural ownership. And that can all start with one plant. And then we have each other, hopefully, in the healthiest way possible to keep it going. Planting seeds and knowledge that will harvest in gardens throughout South Central. Yeah. And now I'm actually getting down and dirty in the dirt with Taylor. Uh, we're about to plant some onions and radishes. Yeah. Taylor, tell me more about the soil in South Central and why it's so special for gardening. So there is an element in the soil of South Central in South LA called silt, which actually makes more re refined uh, produce, especially grapes, which are great for making wine. So if you're in South LA and you want to start your own wine company, get your licenses and then you can grow some really, really delicious grapes. Another thing is that there's a big difference between dirt clay, sand, and also soil I learned living out here. There's still a lot of backyards and residencies that have soil that needs to be built into soil. So that's what makes it so good and so vast because a lot of us still have the opportunities to grow our own food in very small spaces. We just have to build it up by adding a lot of organic matter. And what's also amazing is that you were recognized by Wells Fargo oh, with yeah. this community champion grant and they dedicated over $420 million to other small businesses like yourself around the nation. Uh -huh. How did that feel? Wow. You know what? I'm so glad that I got to share the award with so many other small businesses and that we were able to keep our doors open during the pandemic, which is a really tough time. Just the recognition was so overwhelming and it was an award for all of us. Everybody in my community that we can create these hubs and it's a very for us, by us business as well as the award. So I'm really happy to hear that and I'm very honored to be a part of it. Well, we feel amazing to share your story on Spectrum. Thank Back to you. you. We Thank you, Aziza. We, we should love do. to share more of these kinds of stories. That's exactly what should be happening. And this Perfect. is a great example of being on your purpose, right? Hello. And uplifting the community, being of service. Thanks, Aziz. A great story. Nice going. Yeah. All right, everybody. Moving